about 11 o'clock right now. We are all headed to the beach. John, Harry, me, and Reese all headed to the beach. And anyways, it's a beautiful day. We're going to see what... Wait, can you guys... You guys, I'm trying to vlog. Um, we are going to... What's that beach called again? Golden, Golden Garden. Golden Gardens. We're so we're headed over to Golden Garden right now. Anyways, Never been there, but everybody so says it, it's amazing. So down, here we are, like, on our way. All right. Did you get any shots of her newly pierced tragus? Oh yeah, do you see that? Let me see. Oh, we see the. Oh, that's the tragus. Yeah, that's yeah, not tragus. This is the tragus oh. I got pierced. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh -huh. There it is, darling. The beach. Well, you can't really see it, but you do see blue, so. You guys can get the picture, because I'm giving it to you. Say cheese. Homage. Oh, actually, that's for a picture. Homage. Oh, Hi, Choco, Choco, Choco. Oh, can I pet him? Hi, Lulu, come here. Oh, you scared? Come here, Choco, Choco. Come here, Choco. Hi, baby. Hi, Choco. Oh, you're so cute! You're so cute! I never get to be on any of your vlogs. Yeah. Well, you then there you are. Mm. There you are. See, look at that. This is Carrie. Yeah. Carrie, John, John, Chris. Chris. I don't know. What's your name? Three best friends. What's your name? You'll never see Ari get in the water so fast unless her camera goes in there. <laughs> you know what? For once you're right, John. <laughs> For once. <laughs> Carrie's shooting too. I'm shooting. Because I forced her <laughs> to get extra snaps for the vlog. Vlog, technically. Vlog. vlog. You're Video a vlog. The v -log. I'll make it. I am a journalist. I'll be a successful enough. nurse. Saving lives, changing catheters, day by day. Uh, I don't know why you want me to set this thing up. You know you like it done a certain way. You're the journalist. Look, it's on. I Chris, no puedo soportar que. Like it's gonna be a double wedding! Oh. How's it feel to be newly engaged? It feels great. Why? What is up with all this camera stuff? I know. Like, one day, one day you're gonna want to look back on this, and so I'm thinking, how cool. I can just you know? remember it. Like, yeah, no, but I this is great. It, we like, have to shoved in my face every five seconds. You only get engaged every once in a while. Uh, hopefully it's only once. <laughs> Did I say every once in a while? Sorry, yeah. babe. <laughs> yeah, I just don't understand. Let me see this. All right. See, look, invasive. It's not invasive. Yes, it I is. Like it. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like, I don't understand. Like, yeah. I do. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for backing me up. I appreciate it. Okay. Seriously, Sorry. your guys' opinions of invasive is ridiculous. This is not invasive. This is just documenting special moments in our life. Oh my gosh, you know, I understand Which that. we're gonna want to look back on. So don't bitch to me when you guys are gonna be 40 or 80 or whatever. How old are you? 
however old you're going to be, and want to look back on it. Okay? You know what? I just... You know what? Hold on. Yeah. No. Well, the reason I called you is because... Because I don't want you to wake up someday and not know who your daughter's married to or the fact that I graduated nursing school or um, what state I'm living in. I called you because I want you to be a part of my life and... Oh. Yeah, you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah, well you tell whoever it is that you're dating right now that I said hello. Great talking to you. Yep. You know what she said? You know what? I said, drunk both. And she said, oh, I wonder how that's going to go. And how long that engagement's going to last. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You know what? She's just miserable. She knows she's messed up her life, all right? I just don't want to be like her. You're not. You're nothing like your mother. Maybe not now. You're never gonna be anything like her. Your mother is selfish, like all, like so self-centered, and all she cares about is like just kicking other people under the rug to get what she wants. All right, and you know what? You're nothing like that. You are caring, you're kind. You know why I love you, John? You always bring me back up. That is sappy, but it is true. You know what? I love you too, right? What are you guys looking at? Hang on a moment, Ramsey. No, no. What about your intermittent moment, huh? Yeah, that's right. When your kids ask how they were made, I'm just going to show them these videos. Okay. Mm. Uh, this is how mommy and daddy made you. Like this. Hugs lead to babies, <laughs> folks. Exactly. Hugs lead to babies. So tell me, where did you grow up? We grew up right here on the island. All of us, all of our lives. Except for Jonathan. Jonathan moved here in junior high. So what's that about this? We're not going to make it? We're definitely going to make it. Here it What'd is. they say? Here's the ferry schedule. Got it. <laughs> There's the flyer. <laughs> the oh flyer. You know that has all the times on the thing? It's not a flyer, my man. All right, ferry this schedule. It's a schedule. Oh, it's way easier. It's a schedule. Saturday and Sunday. This is the happiest time of our life. We thought... We thought we were invincible. We thought it would last forever, and we were wrong. It was the beginning of the end, and we just didn't know it. What do you mean? What didn't you know? How fragile life is. So right now we are hustling through downtown Seattle trying to catch the ferry. Oh my goodness, you can't go anywhere here without knowing at least like three people. And you can't even go on like midnight or 2 a.m. ice cream runs in your sweatpants looking like a pile of you know what without seeing somebody. It's so frustrating. Come on, we gotta get out. Oh. Mr. Superstar. Okay, cool. Smile. Alright, let's turn around. What was that? Alright, that was 
Goodbye, Seattle. Goodbye, Seattle. Hello to the island. Hello, island. <laughs> seeing Ari's family. It was like coming home. I spent more time at their house than my own when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right. Moment of truth, baby. Scandinavian settlers um, 
went deep into the woods because they wanted to kind of recreate the village that they had back in the old country, right? Okay. And um, they wanted to get out as far as possible, right? They didn't want to be anywhere near town. And, you know, back then there was no trails. There was right. no, you know, easy access points. So they were, like, fighting their way through the woods. Yeah, the shot, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So um, it said that when they got there, there was something waiting for them. Um, what? Waiting for them? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It was like a demon or a witch or something. But when they got there, they woke this demon up, and it laid waste to the whole village. It sucked the souls right from their bodies. It was pure evil. Come on, it's. Nobody knows that's real, but it's an amazing story. Okay. Honey, they're adults now. They can camp where they want. That's just some superstitious story they used to tell us as a kid, so we wouldn't stop. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I promise. I promise. Bye. Bye. I promise. I promise. We are on Kazuma. Did you believe the urban legend? No. But Ari did, and I wanted to believe it for her. To support her. All right, let's see it. The ring? Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Do you love it? I love it. You did such a good job. You did. I just feel like it suits me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it totally does. All right, let's see yours. Oh my God, it's perfect. Look at that. I know, mm -hmm. it's so crisp. It's definitely totally crisp. Mm -hmm. but it's super unique. You too. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, all right, Mom. let's get this stuff cleaned up. Can you bring over all the stuff? Yeah, yeah no yeah. problem. Imagine in marriage, it's like carrying around a beautiful, elegant samurai sword. Every once in a while, you're gonna have to fall on the sword. Mm -hmm. That's right, you're gonna have to accept blame that maybe for something that you didn't do at all and that you know you didn't do it. But you're gonna say you did it, why? Because it makes them happy and then you can get on with your day. <laughs> I have to know something. Yeah? Okay. Okay. It's important for them to always feel like they're in charge. Always. Okay? Okay. Right? Are they actually in charge, ladies? No. I guess it's 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 marriage. It's you're entering into just a beautiful time. It's going to be lovely. But keep in mind the samurai sword story. Okay, that's important. You'll know. You'll learn. You guys look so happy. I'm happy for you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. yeah I appreciate the words of wisdom. I'll give you a little toast. Hmm? May the best of your past be the worst of your future. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> they feel like they've got it all under control, but you're running everything, right? Because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they really don't. They're, you know, they're guys, we love them, but they yeah. don't know what they're doing. So, um, yeah, look at them up. <laughs> I mean, would it kill them <laughs> to help us out? Would it kill them to be gracious? Huh? She was here. Must be her. Why? That's boring. She's never too fond of her. You're not talking about the wood witch, are you? No, I don't no. told you to drop it. I don't, I don't Mom, know. we're just, Mom, we're just talking. We're not. We're going to Thunderhead. Don't worry about it. You know me, Mom. I'm just a curious journalist. <laughs> I thought you were a blogger. Seriously? Oh, it's freezing down here. Come on. So we're not going to go try and find that wood witch thing, right? What? I know you heard me. Mm. It's just a story, Chris. A story parents tell their kids to keep them from doing things they don't want them to do. The Bible's full of them. Fairy tales are full of them. Do you really think there was an... 
evil woman transformed into a tree? Well, no. I mean, the likelihood of that is slim. But there's got to be a reason for such a crazy story. When these urban legends are created, they're created for a reason, not because some good shit happened. Okay, Chris, I'm a journalist. Well, technically, you're a blogger. Journalist! And this is a great story, unraveling the mysteries of urban legends and fairy tales. Especially right by home. Oh. You want to help me, or are you just going to stand there and watch? Well, I do want to be helpful on one hand, but on the other hand, I have a really nice view from right here. Chris. <laughs> Can I help you find something? Oh, uh... Dad, do you know where the tents are? The, camp. the tent. The tent. The tent. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Oh, thanks. Um, so on level of 1 to 10, how hung over are you? You had like... Four and a half glasses of wine last night. Um, you know what? I'm feeling pretty good actually. Yeah, I've got a tolerance for wine. Yes. Uh -huh. Historical museum. Could you tell me why you decided to go where you did to get the information about the legend? Because Ari wasn't letting it go. You don't understand, Ari is like a pit bull, and once she latches onto something, there's no getting her to let it go. So, we went to the only place we knew we could. We just didn't know how deep the story was going to be. Mr. Kensington! Hi, Mr. Kensington. Remember me? Ari, how could I forget? You haven't changed a bit. Thank you. Did you just make a social call here? It's always good to see you, but actually we had a question and we're hoping you could help us with it. We have been investigating an urban legend. Something about a witch? We thought maybe you might know something. Let me show you something. Language, Miss Parker. Sorry, Mr. Kensington. Hell. Her name was Hell. Mm -hmm. Dutch. Or Helveda. Mm -hmm. She was queen of the underworld. And she was trying to recruit souls so that she could overtake Valhalla. Mm -hmm. She was leading up okay. Very good, Miss Parker. But, Mr. Kensington, everything we read in classical mythology didn't say anything about that. They say that... I know what they say. I'm telling you what happened. She was banished from the underworld by Odin and taken to Midgard. There, there was a human guardian who watched over her until she could be trusted. And then that human guardian was replaced by another human guardian, and she has been kept there for many, many generations. Mm. Jesus, how bad do you have to be to get kicked out of hell? Pretty damned bad, apparently. <laughs> Why couldn't we find any of this on the internet? This was the internet until the internet became the internet. You could find anything you wanted in here. But there are some stories that shouldn't be read. Mr. Kensington, this looks so old. Where did you get this? It is old. It's been kept in my family for many generations. And what's this on it right here? That is an ancient Scandinavian artifact. Uh. <laughs> it's called Advarsal. Warning. Not to be touched. <laughs> Mr. Kensington, could you show us some of the rest of the exhibits? Certainly. Let's take a look over here. Now, you see, these are models of the original parents over here. This is really? One from 1890. Really? This is one from 1960. That looks almost like what we have. It's, it's is it the same close thing? to what we have today, but they do have new models now. And so this is what this is. Over here, you see this was the early settlement. You can see it was, it was a lumber mill at that time. It's very interesting. Okay, can you tell us more about 
This legend, uh, this, this witch. Actually, the legend is that she comes back every few, few generations to feed. Feed? feed? On what? Fresh human souls. So why are you interested in all of this? So you're not going after her, are you? No. You know what, Mr. Kensington? We've taken up enough of your time. So good to see you, Mr. Kensington. And you. Be careful out mm -hmm. there. Don't go looking for something you don't want to find. Thank you. Bye, Mr. Kensington. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. See Something's up. Oh my god. He's following the car. Oh. Holy shit, Grandpa. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Mr. Kensington was always weird, but we had never seen him like this. It was different. It was just crazy, like the way he acted. Did you see how he blew up? Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, it was oh, like... That was crazy. I've never I seen totally him be like, you no! I, like, I like looked at you guys and I was like, does anybody else like think this is a bit much right now? Yeah. Oh, God. But you got pictures of the book, right? Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'll send them to you. Yeah. I just got them. Let me translate it. Okay, okay, buddy. read it, read it. All right, okay. Hel, Helvede, is the Norse goddess of the underworld, given the task of governing the souls of the dead. Envy grew within her, and she attempted to create a Ragnarok against Odin, the all-father of the Nine Realms. Her attempt to overthrow Odin failed, but as a result, she was banished from Asgard and sent to Midgard as punishment, where her powers were limited. Um, during her period of exile in Midgard, she attempted yet again to exact her revenge by gathering earthly souls in an effort to create an army large enough to charge Odin and defeat him. The people of Midgard took heed. Rising against her, they banished her to the form of a tree. Today, she still stands trapped in the same form unless otherwise provoked. Whoa. That's what we got from the book? Yeah. That's freaking crazy. Sounds like a Oh my god. Bunny. This just got like five times more interesting for me. Crazy. Did you believe any of it? No. It was a ridiculous urban legend. Listen. If I told you that the queen of the underworld was living in the Pacific Northwest on an island and was hungry for fresh souls, what would you think? So you're saying we're going all the way out into the woods to look for some tree lady that eats souls? No, we're just going into the woods to have a good time and to be together. Mm -hmm. and because camping is s'mores. intense. <laughs> yeah, 20 points for that biker, yeah. right? I'll drive on the way back. I will drive on the way back. Uh, be a good idea. You know, I could always drive. Uh, oh, no! Uh, uh, uh. What? Which? What? Which? What? You what? Do? What? You gonna do when we come for you? What's in my bag? Oh, snap. I left that on. All right. Are you ready? Oh, check out the ring. I know, check out that bling. Carrie, let me see yours. Let's see. I'm just gonna want to focus because it's beautiful. Because you want to focus. Look at this because it's so bright and beautiful. Oh, there we go. Shut up. I'm pumped. How pumped are you? I'm so pumped. You're so pumped. And I'm already so wet. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> awesome. You kidding? There's mosquito repellent. Check this out, man. It also has a fan that emits a poison. And it's just like... Uh, bubble of protection. Could you be any so, prepared, man? Dude, actually, I just got this cool little pocket knife that has a flashlight on it. Okay, Ari, this is, this is all you. This is your trip. Yeah, you lead the way. Me. I am coming with well, you. Obviously. We're all coming with you. Do you remember that summer we spent at summer camp cutting trails? 
Yeah, that is hard freaking work. Yeah, but I, I mean, it was fun though. Oh, hell yeah. The woods always made me feel just like saying, respect to whoever yeah, did totally this. Yeah. I'm just saying, respect. <laughs> respect, man. I know. We are. Hey. Hey, baby. Whoa, that's Dang. a stick. What? I am looking at a whole lot of sexy right now. Whole lot of sexy? Oh, yeah. So am I. What? Mm. Wait, get out of the shot. I'm trying to get Chris. <laughs> All right, check out this tree. That's check this out. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Dang. Harry. Yeah. The intro, right? You should. You should. I'm gonna. I want to do an intro. All right. All right. One sec. Okay. I'm gonna cut my camera. Okay. Okay. Just keep filming. I got you. Okay. All right. This is the hunt for the. Uh, what do you want to call her? So we'll just call this video right now. We just came into the woods. Um. Our parents, nobody ever wants us to go on this trail for some reason. Um, anyways, I just want to go this beautiful tree. I mean, it's kind of like, Damn. kind of very mystical looking, so I figured we'd pitch, we'd, we'd pitch it here. Um, but we're going to continue on. Right now we're looking for a wood witch called Hell. Supposedly nobody wants to talk about her. And all of us kind of dragging you guys out here, which is really, well, thank you guys for coming. But, oh, you're um, welcome. You're welcome. Look at these loving supporters. Wow, that is the face oh, of all faces. Oh man, you are too tall for the forest. That's a problem. You just hit I your head like on everything. Every single like branch and tree known to man right now. Like this green hairy tree. Come here. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Let's see if we can get this thing to turn around. It's too fancy for me. It's pouring down rain. It's pouring, <laughs> it's pouring, pouring down rain. some rain. Welcome to Washington, folks. What did the boys think about this adventure? The urban legend. Yeti, Sam's yeah, Yeti, Sam's so you guys believe in Water, Yetis and Sam's Water. crunches, but you won't help us look for a wood witch. Okay. What are we doing? Yeah, is so there is way more like evidence than all like all a, for like a big, what? They're, they're all in the same realm. You no, can't say that. You can't no say that. way. You no can't. way. Oh, that's baloney. How? Oh, tell me how we Because how there's like way more evidence of a Bigfoot than there is like an old lady that lives how? in the woods that's how? made out of wood. Are you kidding me? Witchcraft has been proven to exist. We've seen evidence of it. Bigfoot is some crazy idea some nutter made up in his basement one day. If we see a Bigfoot out here, I will bow down in front of you. All right, you're gonna be like, oh, praise the mighty Sam Squinch. Oh my goodness. Hey, good looking, turn around. Roll. Me? <laughs> Talking to me? It's all about being together. See, look at this, togetherness right here. Darn right, check that out. Mm. Oh, check it out, what? Uh, oh, whatever. Well, it's gonna be the rest of our lives here. Oh, I know, it's you right? and me, baby. In the woods. <laughs> yeah, in the woods, the rest of our lives. We're just gonna live under a log. Yeah, so you ignored the warnings? Yes. Why did you go into the woods where you were told not to go? Because we... I don't know. I don't know why we did it. Oh, snap. That sounded really cool. So I spy with my little eye something blue. Um, is it that leaf? How did you know? Because <laughs> I just know you. <laughs> Oh no. Alright. Here, here. What was it like when you dropped it? It was like little time. It was fun and playful and happy. It was good. I can't break that, sorry guys. Hey, did you remember the sleeping bags? You mean, don't do that. I brought the tent. I brought the pillows.
Yeah. We beat you. Awesome. We need to fit it in that way. And ours is bigger. Turn Way bigger. Okay. Thank you for carrying this beautiful log all the way here. Oh yeah, and the tents. And the tents and the, and the tents pillows and the backpacks and everything. And the sleeping bags. Well, I and brought the water, my sleeping bag. And the snacks. Somebody was supposed to bring his sleeping bag. So, do you have an extra shirt for me and Carrie? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! It's gonna be honest at the end of the night. I got six. There you go. Well, let's see. It's gonna work. Well, maybe I do want a marshmallow. Jeez. You do because they're. No, no, you do. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you about this. Let me tell you. Look and fly, my man. Look and fly. I know. I just oh, got this. No, not specifically for this. Oh, good. A tiger shirt. Yeah. Isn't it awesome? I think it looks bomb. Thank All you. All right. I think it would look better on me. Oh, yeah? I think it would look better on the floor. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. What are you guys thinking about kids, huh? Three. Two. What? Oh, we're, oh, we're having three. Three! Three! Three. Okay. Two boys, one girl. All right. Two boys, one girl. Okay, yeah, well. Good. He's going to be a stay-at-home papa, and I'm going to go be a famous catheter inserting nurse. Oh, so you're going <laughs> to be famous for it. Oh, yeah. Famous for Everybody's it. Everybody's going to come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything be like, for, Martin Catheter. I know who I'm coming to, Carrie Johansson. Um, what about you guys? I have Oh, he's going to work oh. in an office, for sure. I can Hell see that. No. Yeah. Mr. Corporate. Bowtie and yeah. desk. Oh, I Hell totally no. see. Are you kidding me? Chris, why are you That's not are wearing you your me? red shirt? Did Wait you miss the memo? Did you miss the memo? That would never happen. I'm never going to work in an office. I'm never going to work for a corporation. I'm not a robot. I'm not soulless. Mm. I am going to go be a rock star. Thank you very much. I'm going to live on the road, and I'm going to... Yeah. You know, so send cute. lots of postcards so, so home. Cute. <laughs> and, so cute, but that's and, not going to happen, baby. Gonna you know, it's not going to happen. That's how it's going to go down. No, it's not. You can have kids if you want, oh, whatever, but, so you know, I'll, I'll be having things to do. You're going to be in an office, and you're going to be getting somebody coffee. We're going to have our cute little pink house with a white picket fence. <laughs> oh. So, you're going to be changing diapers, okay? And you're going to be, like, an independent... Whoa, hi. Hey, hey easy there. up. Are yeah. you going to the tent? Guys, mm -hmm. need kids that fast, or...? Are you guys... Are you guys tired? I'm really tired. I'm, get, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. Really tired. tired. Really tired. Really tired. I was just kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding, guys. Where are you going? <sighs> to, to bed. bed. Okay. Are you guys tired from the big walk? Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, well, okay. Hey guys, in the morning. Okay. Should we be putting our earplugs in or what? Okay. All right, you guys. Hey. Try out my new tiger shirt. Yes, I'm like totally filming them. This. <laughs> yeah, that camera might be a little invasive. Yeah? Invasive? Yeah, How are Maybe you? Just a little bit. You know what? I'm good, what? girl. Says the man who points to the camera. I'm just laying here by the fire, listening to my friends in their tent. Yeah. Are you grumpy? No, I'm not grumpy. I'm just tired. Okay. How's Sober your walk? and pretty cold by this fire. Don't say, I mean, look, it's still going. I don't know what I'm going to do to feel any better tonight. <laughs> I think I have an idea. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Should we turn it off? Yeah. Chris, did you turn it off? It's still on. Oh, shoot, oops. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? It's still on. Oh, shoot. Shut up! I'm sorry. All right. Chris. Oh. Seriously? Shit. Turn it off. Okay. Did you guys get any sleep last night? Uh, yeah, we got some, I mean, other than having to go to the bathroom like four times last night. And it's so freaking cold, I have like completely given up on trying to stay dry. It's not going to happen. Nope, nope, nope. You guys have a good night as we did last night. Let's just say that I love camping. I told you sometimes being in a new environment, out of your normal situation can really pay off, you know what I mean? You do exactly. Like, no, it's not. Do you hear what they're talking about? 
It was probably. Oh, oh man, good game. game. Oh, uh, not cool, guys. Yeah, I feel pretty violated. It's dirty. It's not sexual harassment if you say good game. What? Come on, I mean, how often are we going to be out here? Not very often uh, at all. Hopefully never again. What? No. Okay, I promise the next time we come out here, I will not be vlogging and blogging. Promise. I don't believe you. And if you want, it'll just be you and me. Sounds better. better? Yeah, it Getting does. closer. No work, just you and me, just fun. Yeah, sounds <sighs> better. Yeah. I can think of probably like a million other places I would rather go with just you and me, but if it has to be the, the wood. Well, I'm not saying it has to be. I'm just saying it's beautiful. Oh my god. How cute. Oh, it just ran. Okay. Hello, baby. Hello. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's huh? water, though. I know. You want to go skinny dipping? Uh, not really. Why not? In that water? Yeah. Let's mm. get dirty. Yeah. Come on. Knock yourself out. I'll, I'll hang back oh, here with the camera. Oh, I thought you liked it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hmm. The trees are so beautiful. Too bad the camera can't pick up on the true beauty of it. You know? Yeah, nothing, nothing compares like to the lens of an eye. Touch him, but I like you. I know. I like your new accessory. Do <laughs> you? It's really good. I just really close to you. I don't do it, you know. So, how do you feel being back on the island? Do you miss your old house? Yeah, I miss my old house. That was. The house was perfect. I used to love a little tree house in the backyard. We used to play when we were kids. Yeah, no, totally. I, I just don't know why she had to do what she did. Who does that? Who ruins Who ruins their own household and somebody else's household? Carrie, everything happens for a reason, okay? Don't let your mom affect you. What if I became my mom? You won't be your mom. You're not your mom. Just stay true to yourself and what you love and what makes you happy. And John makes you happy. So stay true to that and whatever comes up next, you guys will tackle. You're not your parents. You guys are you're not going to turn out like your mom and dad. Yeah, I know. I know we won't, but I still, still worry. Don't worry. I couldn't live with myself if I did. I became her. I won't let you become your mom. <laughs> I promise. Go find your whip. Yeah, let's do it. Holy shit! Oh. Seriously? <laughs> Dude, come on. God. Yes? Just saying, with wet hair, look kind of sexy. I can't tell if that's serious or not. I'm Give me two blinks if it is, one blinks if it's not. I'm being 100% One serious. blink. Done. Now you're just incessantly blinking. I don't know what to read this out. Is that a maybe? I'm just saying yes? that you look drop dead gorgeous. Not on that camera. Uh, whatever. It's on any camera. No. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Whatever. No, it's not. It's not. and everything started to go wrong. Whoa. Carrie, Carrie, this is it. You think this is it? This is exactly like what it looks like on Mr. Kenzie and from Mr. Kenzie's right. books. Check out the trees away from the bottom down there, completely bare. Oh Look my up goodness, on your this phone. is it, this is it. I am. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy, because it's like oh, green, no, yeah, dead. Huh. All right. You know what? Well, let's go. I'm. You got my attention. Finally. Much, whatever. Dude, it feels like we've been walking for hours. We have been, I think. Yeah. I know the girls are all into this and stuff, but honestly, I'm kind of fucking sick of this. 
the one thing, honestly, that's kind of got me, like, thinking this whole time was that freaking, like, dead forest. Like, seriously? I know. I know. Like, it was, like, green trees, lush green trees, man. And then lush green trees, and then dead. Like, there was no sound. There was no nothing. Yeah, I know. Uh... Like, it's just, like, it couldn't have been, like, a forest fire or anything because it just, like, it would have, you know, there was no, like, ash, no petrified trees. They were all just, like, barren. Dude, I know. So. Dude, it's way colder than it was yesterday. Oh, I know, right? It's freezing. Yeah. But they don't even freaking notice. Yeah. So preoccupied with this stupid Where are we going? shit. Oh, man. Where are we going, brave leaders? <laughs> Did they just like choose to go this way? Are they actually like following something? Are we following anything? We're just following them. We don't know. Oh, yeah. Pretty cold out here. Just uh, we should be really close right now. They keep saying like how we're almost there. No. Every yeah. five minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy shit, we found it. Okay. Well, that's kind of odd. Would you, will you film me? I think we found it. This is, we gotta do an intro for this. Okay, are you filming? Are you filming? Okay. We hit a marker that looks exactly like it does on the map, which is pretty fantastic. Um, we're making sure not to touch anything because we just have no idea what it. Because we don't what need to mess with this kind of stuff. Um, so guys, can you guys? Yes. Can you guys fan out and help us look for a tree? A tree, a tree that's strange looking. Okay. Okay. Mm. So I spy with my little eye. Oh my goodness. A tree right there. Hey, wait. There's another one. Okay. Right seriously, there. come on. You guys need help or what? All right. In all seriousness, in all seriousness, there's a tree right there. Yeah. And there's another tree. And wait, oh gosh, there's trees everywhere. John. I spy a tree. Hey, another tree. Oh, Ari! Is that your tree? Ari, this has got to be it. Carrie, what? Carrie, now's the time. You gotta say it. Say, say, say that. What? Say, that, say, say what you have to say to wake it up. Uh, no. What do you mean no? We're here. We went all this way. You have to say it. Come on. This is the very end. Um, all right. All right. Let me remember it. Um. Murder, George. And then we were stupid. I was stupid.
I'm the one that said the spell that woke hell up. And innocent people died. And then it got worse. Major, carry this way. Okay. Up here. Stop this you, you didn't figure that out before we woke her up? I know, you're right. I didn't know this was going to work. I didn't know that if I said some magical Dutch enchantment, I would bring this thing to life. All right, did you not see what just happened to that jogger? Yes, I saw what happened. Oh, my gosh. That thing was huge. Did you hear that? Go, go, John. Go. Chris. What? What are the odds that a fucking urban legend would be real? Pretty fucking good, I'd say. <sighs> this is insane. Do you think we need to get out of here before that thing comes back? Chris, we have to find Carrie and John. <sighs> to hell with them. Your loony friend woke that thing up and now we're running for our lives. She's our friend and we have to find them. You... Come on, this way. <sighs> no, 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 right here. <sighs> shh, 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 shh. Get down, get down. We've got to find Chris and Ari. We need to get out of here right now. <coughs> All right, I think we're good. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's... <coughs> All right, come on this way. Oh, nope, not that way. Alright. 
I think we're all right. No, it's, it's fine. It is fine. All right. Just, just come here. Just come here. Okay. Oh my God! When I saw her. Go beyond the, beyond the lake over there. Get out of these woods and go. Get out. And freaking tell somebody. You tell all right? please. You tell. Because. What the? What do you do with this kind of thing? Nobody's gonna believe us. You know what? Believe the woods. Nobody's gonna think this is real. You know what? They, 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 gonna, let them they, think what they're, they're gonna think. We know what's real. We'll just show them the. was more intense than ever. I'm getting a story. Wait! Wait. What? Does anybody think that she can be reasoned with? What? Right Ari, somebody just died! Don't look at me like that. No, we need to get out of here, and we need to get back to the town, and we need to warn somebody, starting with the cops. John's right. We need to let the cops take this thing down. Tell them about it. I don't know about you guys, but this thing's a little bit out of my league. I agree. We need to get back to the town. Apologize to your mother for not listening. Ari, this was a crazy idea. Harry, this isn't crazy. This is amazing. She's hungry. She's frustrated. I think she can be reasoned with. Serious right now? Yes, I'm serious. You know how you get when you're hungry and tired? <sighs> there is no reasoning. We need to go right Chris. now. Thank you, Chris. Thank I'm you. a journalist. I have to get this story. You are a blogger. Oh, my God. Not today, I'm not, Chris. Where are you going? Ari, stop. Oh, no, 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 what Get are you doing? Me, Chris, don't touch don't me. Don't go. Come on. This Get is off my... She's our friend. We're going to leave her here? You know what? This is big. This is big. Nobody Come has a story like this. Come with me now. Nobody has a story now. like this. I'm going to get it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to call this wedding off. That I don't care. I, do. I don't Your care. Your dad hated me anyway. Stop! Hey, you... Right. No, Carrie, come on now. Like, we got to go call the police. Somebody die. I agree, but we can't leave her here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, fine. The hell are you guys? Go! Uh, guys, 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 all right. We need to Stop get... It. We'll go get her, and then we'll get out of here. All right? You can't let her go out by herself. Are you kidding me? She's already gone. That's your fiancé. Are you going to let her go?
she ran after the thing, and her and Chris... Then it didn't go well. Stop. Oh, please stop. Please I'm please not stop. going I'm with sorry you. about what I said, but you can't go. You bring me in. You bring up. You better I'm stay and tell me what I have to do. Chris, you need to come with me. I'm not please going back. Tell me what I to do. I don't know what to do. Hell, I'm Ari. We accidentally woke you. Okay. Okay, you're probably right. I simply want to get your story. What is it you need? I must We just have to get through that clearing right there, and the parking lot will be right on the other side.
She was more family to me than my biologicals. Oh, God. There's a girl. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, are you gone? How, how did you get out of there? The cavalry arrived. Let's go. Come on. You. You are old and weak. Old, but not that weak. Go, go. It's not over. We need to go. I'll hold her till till you get back to the queen. Her her powers won't hurt you there. No. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, come on. Take it. Take it. Carrie. You gotta take this. I can't! You can! Repeat after me. Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Take this creature back to the take underworld. Take this creature back to the underworld. Mother Jordan. Mother Jordan. Taga Denon Skobning. What? Taga Denon Skobning. Taga Denon Skobning. Here, Taga. Till under their dinner. <laughs> hey! Where do you think you're going, bitch? Mother George, stop! Screw it! Mother Earth, take this creature back to the underworld! I didn't either. She's done. Let's go. John? Stay with me. Come on. My name is Carrie Johansson, and this is dedicated to Ari and John and Chris. We're here at the site where, if you've seen the footage, you know what happened. I lost my two best friends and the love of my life. But I'm here with Mr. Kensington, and he's going to do an enchantment to put hell to rest for good, and maybe we can close the chapter on our lives and move on. Mr. Kensington, what did the witch hell mean by she should have killed you long ago? She isn't a witch. She's a god. And let's just say I look good for my age. Here's your buck. You keep it. You might need it someday. Me? I think it's time for me to step down. If you're up for the task. Okay. Let's go kill hell.
Where is she? What's next for you? What's next? Help to hunt hell! 